as Luther comes on the scene and he starts to speak in 1526, I think it is, that, that the Turks, the Ottoman Empire, the Muslims have taken over Hungary and they're besieging Vienna. And so Charles V is going, I've got a divided kingdom, right? The Holy Roman Emperor, Charles V, has a kingdom that's half Roman Catholic and half Reformed. And so in Augsburg, he, he gathers everybody together. And he says, certainly we can come to an agreement. We can put aside our religious differences because I don't want to have a divided kingdom when the Muslims come here. And out of that comes the Augsburg Confession. The Augsburg Confession is what's still used by, by the Lutherans today. Most Lutherans use the Augsburg, Augsburg Confession. And most of the confession we would agree with, except for Luther's major theological error, which he believed in consubstantiation. He believed in the physical presence of the body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. And as you go through the Reformation, you look at the, the conflicts between Zwingli and Luther. They're all about the Lord's Supper. And the next generation with Calvin and Bellinger and Beza, they all kind of settle those things. But at this point in time, the Lord's Supper is a big deal. And so, so as the Augsburg Confession is written, this was supposed to be a unifying confession, but it ends up dividing. It divides the Swiss from in, in southern, southwestern Germany from, from Luther. But the Augsburg Confession ends up, instead of uniting the Roman Catholic and the Protestants, they say, even with the Turks at the door, what we need to do is we need to say, here's what you have to accept for us to have unity, the basic doctrines that you have to accept. When we think of the confessions, it's easy for us to forget that most of these are political. The Augsburg Confession was political. The Westminster Confession was political. It was about how states can be at peace with one another. We're in a country that says there's no way the government should have anything to say about what truth and falsehood is. That's not what Deuteronomy says, and that's not at the time of the Reformation what was happening in the time of these great confessions. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it with your friends. You can also visit www.discerninghistory.com for more videos and other resources.